Yo, I am free from the trenches, <laughs> at least for now. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Jacob. Welcome back to Sunday Yap Session. If you're new here, this is a show where every Sunday I hop on here and yap about something with some sort of cohesive through line to carry it all through. And sometimes we do better than others. If you enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a like because that helps me out quite a bit. And if you want to come yap with me every single Sunday, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I upload every single Sunday and I would love to have you here yapping with me. Today we are drinking a black raspberry LaCroix. Y'all know this is like one of the tried and true favorites. I love this. It's so good. I'm pretty habitual with my drinks, so I end up just getting kind of like the same old, same old. So it's either this or like the Key Lime LaCroix. Those are like my go-tos. But yeah, doing a lot better than I was in the last video. And I'm really grateful for all the people that left really sweet comments and kind of give me encouragement and affirmations and all of that. That was definitely needed and definitely very appreciated. I feel like I'm still in the trenches a little bit. Like I'm still pretty drained, still pretty tired, but like I'm feeling more hopeful. I'm feeling better about things. Definitely like not over, but I feel like, especially with some of the stuff I talked about, just kind of giving it some time to breathe, giving myself some time to breathe, giving myself some time to kind of just like chill and do a little bit less than I would normally normally do has been nice. I think there are more long-term things that are gonna be like the solution for all of this, kind of like I talked about, but for now, we're good. We're all right. Or at least things are going upward, I will say. I'm not gonna say we're, we're good and all right. It's not over, but <laughs> we're doing okay. There hasn't really been a ton, ton new with me. I've kind of just been doing my same old, same old stuff. I'm really excited because I think I'm gonna start getting involved in some like mutual aid stuff, which has been really cool. If you're not familiar, I do a lot of advocacy and talking about COVID and masking and all of that. And there's a mask block near me that is doing like really good work distributing COVID tests and free masks to people in our community. And I reached out to them because I was like, hey, I've used your services before. I'm really passionate about this. I would love to help and I would love to offer anything that I can. And I'm really glad I did because I've been in talks with them a little bit. And they're basically like, yeah, this is like a one person operation pretty much. And I would love the help <laughs> and I need the help. So that's going to be something really cool. And I know like last episode, I talked about how I have too many things going on already. So I, I hear some of y'all typing being like, girl, <laughs> Do you think taking on another thing is gonna help? But I'm being very cognizant and trying to be very careful about making sure that like, I am only getting involved in the extent that I have the capacity to do and kind of doing more like hands off stuff or more things that are kind of in line with stuff I was already gonna be doing anyway, where I can also make it helpful. So I'm trying to like get some companies that I've already been in talks with about donating some masks to the mask block. I'm trying to like help them navigate how like setting up donations and stuff would work because I want to send them like financial contributions, so on and so forth. So I'm not doing like too, too much but it is gonna be another thing that I'm doing, but I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited to do things that can like be for the betterment of my community. And I don't think it's gonna be that that much extra work. And I think the prospect of doing that too is especially exciting to me because I've been seeing a lot of like discourse on TikTok amongst progressive leaning people talking about like kind of how they view solutions about making the world better and discoursing about politics and stuff like that. And a lot of like some of my favorite creators have really been talking about like, y'all need to get off TikTok and like do something in your actual community, which I definitely agree with because I feel like there are a lot of people online and I'm not like talking about anybody in particular. And I feel like I probably do this sometimes too. I think there are a lot of people that just really like hearing themselves talk and really like being right and kind of do that more than actual things that are important or actual like raising awareness. So I kind of took that as like a challenge to like, what can I be doing more? What can I get involved with more that has like actual tangible impact? Because I know like some of the stuff I make online does have impact. And I tend to be someone who is a little bit more like reserved. And I try to be very intentional about adding to conversations where I feel like I can actually add and not just talking about things to talk about things or not just trying to like make points so that I seem correct or cool or right or whatever. Growing the platforms is great, but like clout is not super, super meaningful to me other than just like the connections I can build from it. Not that I don't care if people think I'm right about things, but like I don't need to be dropping a hot take every single day. So I kind of took that as like a challenge and I am very excited to, at the prospect of being able to use some of the like social media things that I do already and just like the the money that I have, the resources I have, the connections that I have to be able to do something tangible, especially with TikTok too. And like the way the algorithm works, I feel like it really does encourage kind of echo chambers and a lot of people that tend to agree with things, kind of just hearing like regurgitated talking points that they can agree with and then comment and be like, oh my gosh, King, you're so right. And kind of just like make themselves feel better. So even like sometimes when I'm just like making videos and advocating about things, I'm really hoping that they will get out of the bubble of people that I already know that agree with what I'm saying and kind of have the same knowledge 
I can. So I feel like these more like community oriented involved things, that would be a valuable tweaking of my time and tweaking more towards that, less towards <laughs> being chronically online. So I'll keep you all posted with how that goes. I'm really excited about that. I also thought too, it might be useful kind of in response to my last video to share some of the things I do when I feel like I'm in that way or feel like I'm in like the trenches, not feeling good about myself, feeling like things are overwhelming. Cause I definitely do have a lot of strategies in place to kind of help with that. And I think part of the reason that I was feeling so trash is because I kind of slipped out of some of them. So I figured maybe that'll be helpful for somebody and maybe this will be nice to talk about. I'm gonna like warn you. I feel like some of these things I do are like a little odd, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Part of getting better with my mental health and kind of navigating these complex situations and building healthy coping mechanisms and healthy systems to take care of myself is realizing that so much of this is individualized. And if some of this does seem silly and some of it does seem like things that people wouldn't normally do, like it doesn't matter because it's helping me and it's helping me function <laughs> and helping me live the life that I want to live. So like... I don't know. We'll just get into it. I think first and foremost, especially when I'm feeling overwhelmed, is trying to do my best to do like little cleaning tasks and things like that. I'm someone who, there are some chores that I really don't like, but in general, I don't really mind doing that kind of stuff. I think vacuuming is my favorite. Just doing like a quick little five minute vacuum, making sure my bed is like put together nice, even like doing my dishes and stuff like that. I've told like some of my friends and family and stuff, like if you see my living space and it's like in shambles, that is the number one indicator that I'm going through it <laughs> mentally and that I'm struggling and I feel like my definition of like my apartment in shambles is not really what most people would consider in shambles. <laughs> my apartment doesn't really ever get like that messy or anything. It'll kind of just be like a little cluttered and stuff. So I just feel like kind of tending to those things is really helpful for me. Listening to music especially as well has been really helpful. My go-to like I'm going through it album is When I Get Home by Solange. That album like she put some magic in that or something because that album never fails to like calm me down to make me feel better especially when I'm feeling like overwhelmed or emotional or things like that. Maybe I'll link it below. I also have a playlist. I don't really listen to it that much, but I did build it for this purpose. I think it's called like Calm Down Sis <laughs> or something like that. It's a very apt name. I'm definitely somebody who has like a big strong connection with music and can really kind of affect my mood and just like memories and stuff too. I feel like there are so many albums and so many tracks where I can listen to it and feel very specifically attached to a certain point in time or a certain memory. So I'm definitely someone who can be kind of like influenced by music and that helps quite a bit. Also watching like calming YouTube content has been one of my things I do and I do that pretty much every single day. Especially like before I go to bed at night, I do meditation and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I do like a little like pre-meditation, like bedtime wind down. Cause I feel like it's very helpful to like transition into getting to bed rather than just like going straight into bed and being like, all right, it's bedtime. Cause my brain is like way too active and I'll just sit there and think about everything that's ever happened to me. So I feel like I need to like have like a wind down time essentially. Pretty much what I listen to is like without fail, it's like ASMR videos. I know some people do not like ASMR and it makes them feel weird or whatever, I don't know. I am a big fan of it. I love like a little calm, gentle whisper, a little clickety clacky on something. So I find that very, very helpful. There's this one channel in particular I will link. His username is Escape. He's like my favorite right now. And it's just like him tapping on things or him like chit chatting about something or whatever. I feel like you could do this with music too, but just like something calming, something relaxing that's not like dramatic and going to get you like worked up. I feel like that has been very helpful. So I'll usually like put on an ASMR video. I'll do like my little stretches and stuff. So just kind of like wind down my body, put like some lotion on, make sure I'm not looking ashy for the next day. And that's like my kind of bedtime wind down. And then when I like actually am in bed, I do meditation every single night. My therapist put me on to meditating and thank you for that. Shout out to him per usual, shout out to my therapist. Before I started meditating, I honestly thought that like that was kind of just some white hippy dippy nonsense stuff. If I'm being like completely honest, because I feel like, I don't know, especially where I'm at too, a lot of these quote unquote spiritual or like wellness, mindfulness practices are kind of gentrified and get passed off as this new age spiritualism stuff. So that was kind of like the perception I had of that. And I didn't really realize that it was like, something that actually worked and was something very helpful. So I've been doing that very consistently for the last probably seven or eight months. And that has dramatically made my life better and fixed my sleep pretty much almost entirely. There are still occasionally some nights where I can't get asleep. Like the other night, I just could not fall asleep for whatever reason. And I was awake till like 3.30 in the morning, but that is few and far between. And that used to be kind of just my norm where I would just go to bed and I would kind of just ponder, like I said, everything I've ever done, having all of these like intrusive thoughts about just negative memories or what I need to do the next day or all my tasks that I need to get through and things like that. And it would just keep me up at night. Now I sleep pretty soundly. 
go to sleep pretty quickly. So that's been really helpful. So if you do not meditate, get into the meditation. I will, if you're all on Apple Music, I'll link my meditation playlist below too if y'all wanna use that. I'm really proud of the profile picture I made for it. I'll put it on screen, but it's Angelina from the Jersey Shore. <laughs> doing yoga. Me and my best friend started watching Jersey Shore a couple months ago from the very, very beginning. And there's this episode where Angelina's kind of having a meltdown or whatever, or she's like trying not to. And she's like, I'm doing my Wusa right now. I'm trying to calm down. So the playlist is called Wusa and it's a picture I photoshopped of Angelina doing yoga on the Jersey Shore. <laughs> but silliness aside, yeah, that has like been a game changer for my mental health and my sleep hygiene and all of that. So highly, highly, highly would recommend that. It felt really silly the first couple weeks that I was doing doing it and I felt like I was doing a really bad job at it but now that I'm kind of in the practice of doing it and I do that pretty much every single night it has kind of just become second nature and something that's very essential to me getting a good night's sleep so that's been really helpful. I used to read quite a bit before bed too. I haven't done that in a while because I kind of switched over to my little ASMR stretching moisturization <laughs> routine but I was doing a lot of reading before bed too and I found that really helpful especially before bed because I feel like now that reading's boring I enjoy reading. I need to get back into it but I think it's a nice similar to what I was saying before just like a calm, not super overwhelming, not super stimulating activity. If you're reading the right books, like don't read like a little horror, mystery, spooky book before going to bed. Most of what I was reading was like socio-political books or autobiographies and stuff. I think I got like three fourths of the way through Hood Feminism. I was also reading, what was the other book I read? I don't know. I can't remember what the other one I was reading, but I'll put that on screen. I got through the entirety of that. I was reading that RuPaul autobiography or like the memoir, the most recent one for a little bit. Didn't finish it, but I was reading that for a little bit. So just kind of stuff like that where it's pretty chill. I mean, not chill. I don't know. Talking about big concepts and important things in the world, but it was not things that were going to keep me up, essentially. I also, a couple months ago, got into doing puzzles and that has been really helpful. I do them online because I'm not going to like buy a bunch of puzzles. I don't have the space to store a bunch of puzzles. But I think I think the website I was using is like Jigsaw Planet. And I just go in there, do my little 150 piece puzzles, put on some music, do my little my little drag and drop. I don't know what it is about those puzzles, but that also works very, very well to get me to calm down and just have something chill and easy to focus on. I feel like that's kind of like the main theme of all of this is find something that is chill, not overstimulating and low effort, I guess. Cause I'm not doing like big thousand piece puzzles. I was usually doing 150 to 200 pieces. So it takes me like 30, 40 minutes to get it done. and then. I'm like, good. Sometimes I'll watch haircut ASMR videos that are getting barber services done. All of those little like the snippies and the razors and all of that sounds very calming, very relaxing. I also am a big, big, big fan of making lists. And that is also, that's probably the, the number one piece of advice I would recommend because I think a lot of the things for me that make me overwhelmed and gets me overstimulated is just thinking about all of the things I need to do. And a lot of times I just think about them internally and I try to keep track of everything that I need to do in my brain, which gets me over overwhelmed because then I get worried about forgetting things and then I am thinking about too many things so I do start forgetting things. So just like making lists has been really helpful. I would go get it but it's all the way over there. But I have like a little notebook that I got from Muji. No, I got it from Blick. Just like you could probably get it at Walmart or something too. No, I did get it at Walmart. No, I got it at Hob, no. Some art supply store that I did not just name. I can't remember which one, but I got this little like notebook. It's like the size of an index card or smaller essentially. And I just make it like my little to-do task list. So I just write down very like free form, anything that I think of in the moment that I need to get done. And I kind of treat it like a planner. I don't use traditional planners because I've never found one that I feel would fit with my lifestyle and the things that I kind of want to prioritize and keep track of. When I was in college, I did bullet journaling and I felt that was really effective because you kind of make it your own and you can kind of customize exactly what you want. So I would highly recommend that too, if that's something you're interested in. I think that can be really relaxing too, drawing the spreads every single month and keeping up with that. But for me, if this little like handheld notebook where it's literally just like straight tasks that I need to do is really nice, very easy, a lot simpler for me than like using an actual planner. Sometimes I'll put like cute stickers in it too. That's fun to make the pages a little more interesting. I might actually get back into bullet journaling now that I think about that because I did really enjoy the decorative aspect of it. But for now, my little just easy, basically just like a note card <laughs> that I take notes on, but it's in a book form is nice. And that's nice too, because when I feel like I am not doing enough or I feel like I'm being lazy or I feel like I, I don't know, because sometimes I get that way too. I have a physical record of like everything I've done over the past when I started using this thing. And also just to check myself too, if I've been feeling overwhelmed, I can look and be like, well, you did all of this stuff today. So maybe that's why you feel overwhelmed because you're doing the most. <laughs> so that's been really helpful. I don't know. 
honestly, that's pretty much it. Other than talking to my friends too, I have some really, really good friends. My social circle, like I've talked about in past episodes, I'll put the video that I've talked about, kind of how I choose to socialize and build my social circles. My social circle now more than ever is very, very small, but it is full of people that I actually enjoy speaking with. And actually I can have like very candid, open conversations with, especially my bestie who I know will be watching this. Hey, me and him be complaining to each other constantly of just the things that are bothering us or the woes that we have in stuff. And so having somebody to like confide in and just like show support is very immensely helpful. So that's always good as well. I don't know, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. There's probably more things that I do that I'm not really thinking about at the moment, but that's kind of just the general combination of things that make my life easier and make it easier to navigate the world and be a functional human being who can get all the stuff done that I need to. And really making those habits and really incorporating those into my day-to-day -day life has been very, very helpful. And that's been essential to my mental health journey is just making habits and making coping mechanisms and building systems that are very, very specific to me and help me navigate through the world and not really worrying about like how they're perceived or if they might be silly. Cause that's part of it too. Sometimes I'll be doing these things and I'll get into like that negative self-talk mode where I'm like, why do I even need to do this? Or like quote unquote, normal people probably don't need to do this. And I have to remember, I am not normal people. <laughs> <laughs> I am working with a set of somewhat disabling mental health conditions and I gotta do the best with what I can and I feel like I'm doing a pretty darn good job, so. That's pretty much all I really wanna talk about today. Just kind of an update that I'm doing better, feeling better, feeling confident, feeling much more positively than I was in the last video. I really appreciate everybody who's re reaching out, like I said before, especially on Instagram. I got a lot of really, really nice comments when I kind of talked about some of the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes with all like the hate messages and stuff that I've been getting. Fortunately, that's calmed down quite a bit too. I haven't been getting nearly as much, maybe one every other day or so. So that's been really, really nice. Just kind of like writing this out and letting things Things calm down has been very, very good. So yeah, like I said before, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, that helps me out quite a bit. If you wanna come yap with me every single Sunday, be sure to subscribe, because I will be here. Hoping to have some bonus videos coming out soon too, so keep an eye out for those, and I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and I'll catch you all later.